Welcome to Ekenic. In this video, we're gonna troubleshoot a Mercedes. That's a problem where the air suspension is really, really stiff. So, um, in some cases, you might have an error on the dashboard that says um, air suspension failure, but um, or something along those lines. But in, in, like in this case, we don't have that warning at all. Um, but all that we have is the support button here is stuck on sport mode basically the suspension is stuck on sport mode so it's like a an emergency mode for the suspension and so um the vehicle is you know raised um uh, it seems like everything it's working fine but in fact there is one problem and then so in this mode uh where you cannot turn off the sp sport mode um it's because at each of the air suspension air struts there's these dampening valves those solenoids that um, change basically the dynamic of the suspension. Uh, so if you're pressing this button to go between comfort, normal, and sport, you're basically uh, changing those those valves over there. So when one of those valves fails, it's not sending signal to the air suspension unit, then you're gonna end up with a system that goes into sport mode and it's really stiff. It just, it doesn't ride like a Mercedes anymore. Um, so first of all, let's see how you troubleshoot where you how you find out which of those temple level sensors is faulty okay and then we're going to go and take a look at one uh, on the vehicle so you have to use a scanner that's able to read fault codes on a mercedes but also read fault codes from the air suspension compressor right so if you're using a really generic uh, obd2 scanner you're not going to be able to reach or read codes from that but here um we have this scanner, but you know some people use Star Diagnostic Scanner, which is also used by the uh, dealerships. This is um, has almost the same you know steps and procedures. So by watching this video, you'll be able to do this on you know any other professional scanner. So you would go to System Selection. Of course, first you would select your make and model. Um, it's best to just enter the VIN and then you have the right vehicle. But um, once you enter the main menu, connect to your car. You go to control unit um, on for example on, on a start diagnostic you'll click uh, next you'll click chassis um, here um, we have that directly uh, right here but uh, after chassis you will go to suspension or air suspension and next turn on the ignition and then here we read fault codes all right so here you can see check component y53 y1 so that refers to rear solenoid valve or it's, it's called dumping valve unit as well um, so it, it refers to that and it's saying this is not sending a signal now in this case you can see the code is stored so what you can do is you can erase it and see if it comes back or if you replace that faulty component then this code will also turn into stored uh, where you have a problem is that if you got a code that shows as current and uh, all professional scanners will tell you if you got a current, meaning like a current issue or something that just happened in the past and it's either addressed or just the car is not picking up that issue anymore. So you can see there, so we got left rear solenoid valve. So let's go take a look at that. Right here is the air stress solenoid or the damping valve. Um, it's got a couple of solenoids in there. And the first thing you should do is inspect this wire because this wire or the connector itself it, it can get damaged, especially on the front where people uh, replace sometimes the uh, brakes or do work on the suspension then reroute these wires uh, the wrong way and then they just uh, start rubbing against suspension components and they can um, you know get damaged over time so inspect the wire but if the wire seems good the next thing you can do is you can test if you got signal or continuity for that those solenoids so you'd come here you put your multimeter to measure um, resistance here we're gonna just check continuity but you also get to see the resistance values in here and these are usually 10 12 uh, ohms or so that's where these solenoids range but so you would come here we would use our test leads to connect we got three uh, pins here. Okay, so one of them is going to be ground and we got two for signals for each solenoid right. Hold that a little bit So 
So it's actually 20 ohms, so that's good. 10 ohms. 10 ohms. Alright, so we had 10. So we got continuity, so that's a good thing. Um, so that's why you want to have between all these pins you would have either 20 ohms depending if, if you're going between both solenoids you're going to have 20 ohms but uh, if you're testing between each two then you're going to have 10 and 10 so you should have continuity on this so once you test that if, if you have um, if you have an issue here then you know you're not going to get that beep or uh, measure any resistance uh, that means that you would have to replace you some of these you could open this piece here and here and just check for any corrosion or any problems but in most likely if you got a faulty damper valve right there you're gonna have to replace that whole air strut so that's it but if you got a suspension that's really stiff and it's stuck on uh, sport mode this is most likely the issue it could be other problems of course but uh, this is a common problem that we've seen many times um, I mean the trick is going to be finding out like which one it is because you have one of these on each of the air struts so you got four of these so you'll need to read the codes in order to find out which one it is and we're just gonna you can see here this goes together with um, ABS sensor you pair these up and then you plug it in and that's it thank you for watching